brand new over the air updates are generally something to look forward to. They can include security patches, bug fixes, performance enhancements, and they can even come with new features. Sadly, they can also come with bugs in certain cases. It's just impossible for developers to check every single third-party application combination as well as settings configuration. Developers generally do a good job with squashing bugs before a big release, but sometimes they sneak through. Thankfully, the OnePlus 3 is pretty open, and we have a lot of control over what we can do with the device. So if you have just updated to the latest version or a newer version of Oxygen OS, like I have right here with Oxygen OS version 3.2.1, and you've come across some bugs or issues that you just don't like, Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade the OnePlus 3 to a older version of Oxygen OS. Now first you'll need to download that older version of Oxygen OS. And if you check in the video description below, you'll see a link to the full tutorial that I've written for this. In that tutorial is a guy is a download links for the older versions of Oxygen OS. Once you have downloaded that older version, we're going to need to reboot the OnePlus 3 into recovery mode. As mentioned in the full tutorial that I linked below, your OnePlus 3 will need to have the bootloader unlocked and you will need to have twerp installed as the custom recovery if you want to downgrade the firmware. Now as you saw I was on Oxygen OS version 3.2.1 So to downgrade, after we haven't downloaded that older version, we're going to tap on install. And then we're going to browse to the download location for that older version. So I was on 3.2.1. I'm going to downgrade to 3.2.0. You, you just need to tap on that zip file. And then swipe to confirm. If you've watched a previous video of mine that shows how to manually install updates and manually install certain versions of Oxygen OS, this will look very familiar to you because it's the same process. Right now we're just waiting for it to patch the system image. This can take a couple minutes.
and it looks like it's finishing that part up. Now it's verify, verifying the updated system image. And most of the process is done now. Now, if you don't want root access, then you can just go back to the main menu, tap on reboot, and then tap system. I like root access. So I'm going to tap on install, then I'm going to install root. And then once that's done, we're just going to go ahead and reboot. Usually I will wipe the cache partition. It's not required, but it's something that I generally like to do anytime I flash something from twerp. After you do that, the first boot cycle can take a long time since it needs to go through that optimizing phase. So to get past that, I'm just going to skip that. And just like before, if you installed root, you are going to go through two boot cycles. This is the first one. And now this is the second one. If you did not install root, then it will boot up on that first boot cycle like normal. We're going to complete the second boot cycle now. And then once it boots up in the Android, I'm going to show you that it has been downgraded to Oxygen OS version 3.2.0. It looks like the cache was wiped anyway. No big deal. This might actually just be for the pre-installed Google applications. And if I had wiped cache, it would have been a lot more than 34 than it would have had to optimize. No, I just did a a minor downgrade from 3.2.1 to 3.2.0. It's possible that you will want to downgrade from um, whatever OnePlus ends up calling Android 7.0 down back down to Android 6.0. If that happens, you might want to wipe the individual partitions before you install. So instead of just booting into twerp, going to install, and then going and picking that file, you'll probably want to tap install, or I'm sorry, you'll probably want to tap wipe, 
and then advanced wipe. Then you'll want to highlight the partitions, all of them except for internal storage. And then once you wipe those, then you can install that version of Oxygen OS that you want to downgrade to. If you're downgrading from an Android 6.0 version to an Android 6.0 version, you can just install it right on top like I did here. If you're going through a bigger one though, like from Android 7.0 down to Android 6.0, it will be ideal to wipe those um, certain partitions beforehand. I just wanted to show you this method because it's going to take a long time before OnePlus ends up releasing their update to Android 7.0, especially since Google hasn't even released that update yet. And now that we've booted back up, we just want, to, and you can see we no data has been lost. And I'm just going to show you that we are now on Oxygen OS version 3.2.0.